So let's look at another parameter. First thing, I have made a mistake here, or it may, uh, this expression here may not work because I have added the space here. So I will leave just this space and I will change this droplet drag. I have used a value of 1, 0.15, not 0.01 in my uh, simulation. Okay, this is for this one to work. I will add just uh, another node is called pop speed limit okay and uh, this maximum speed parameter I will enable it I have made tests with this uh, parameter here I have made four tests here we have the speed limit of 10, here we have 15, here we have 20, here we have 25. Okay, so if we just um, compare here, the speed limit, or this maximum speed, uh, is just a value that you set, and whenever or wherever the uh, the speed of, uh, of the simulation exceeds its value, it will be limited, okay? So, uh, if we just set it to 10 this the the highest speed or the uh, the particles will not be allowed to be faster than 10 okay or uh, their speed won't exceed 15 or 25 or 20 uh, like the the values what that we set here in these four tests okay so uh, here in the speed limit of 10 the particles will be slower because they won't exceed the speed of 10 and they were they will be just the most slower simulation even the splash doesn't uh, go up at all okay and here we have it uh, 15 and here we have 20 here we have 25 so as you can see um, yeah I like this version of 25 so I have used this one for my simulation and uh, it worked finally it worked fine but uh, we still need maybe we we, sh we can just uh, apply a drag here to the particles at the uh, the boundaries and this will be good because uh, uh, yeah it will uh, it will make the particles slow down before they reach the boundaries and this will help us in uh, in doing an extended simulations so uh, this is for this video uh, but I want to uh, I, but, but I want to make you uh, or, or say something to you all uh, you just uh, have to create the camera with the simulations that you need that you are going to do uh, rendering with before you just uh, before you just apply any test okay because the tests are just made or the simulation uh, is just made uh, based on the camera so uh, you just set the camera and see the simulation from this camera and, and see the details sometimes the uh, details uh, uh, you need more details when the camera is very near to the simulation and you uh, and when the camera is uh, far from the simulation you um, you may decrease the resolution because the de these details can not be seen from this uh, far distance okay so uh, you just need to apply the these tests and need to apply the changes uh, based on your camera and the details that you want okay and surely based on your reference try to change values based on a reference that you uh, that you see okay and uh, it's very very important that you make several tests with each parameter uh, to to feel the changes that happen when you change the values and this will make you co very comfortable with the uh, workflow and with the parameters you will understand them and feel them uh, and this will uh, will help you on your future simulations so you will know what what change uh, or uh, what parameter do you want to change in order to get a specific result or a ch or if you need just to change something based on your reference or camera or details so uh, this is for this video wait for me in the next videos thank you